Hi friends, a Hope Garden hydroponic system is one of my favorites, especially for herbs and leafy green vegetables. I already own a few 8 pod models and I am pretty happy with them. The same company recently released a new model which is a 12 pod system and it comes with an interesting transparent bowl. I am very curious to know how this transparent bowl is going to play out in hydroponics growing. I have many hydroponic systems that supports 12 pods and more. However, this is very special as this is the only system with a transparent bowl. I am very excited to see the root system as it is being developed, but at the same time, I am also worried that there may be some development of algae as the light will pass into the nutrition water inside the bowl. Anyways, this is just my assumption and speculation. Let's see how this is going to work out in real time. First, let me unbox it and see what are all the things it comes with and what are all the different features it supports. First things first, a user manual with some warranty information. Here it is, looks very nice. So interesting design and so interesting grow bowl and nice decoration. This is oval shaped and well designed. Definitely it looks very nice in terms of design. Here is the grow deck. This is also very interestingly designed. It is a single piece and it supports 12 pods. This is compact and the holes are pretty close to each other. But I think they are still decently positioned. To be honest, I don't like the shape of these holes. It is totally unnecessary. There is a hole on the grow deck to pour the water and it has a sliding door. This is good. Let me just take out the light and keep it aside. It comes with the plant tanks and some labels and the domes, stickers and the hole covers also called as plant spacers. We can use these to cover the unused holes. They included six of these. This is really nice. Then the pod baskets. They changed the design of pod baskets in this system. These are compatible to Aero Garden. They look and feel very similar to Aero Garden pods. I really like these. We'll see how they are going to fit in a minute. Another pack of grow baskets and sponges. Then the plant nutrition. It is the same AB nutrition that comes with many hydroponic systems. These are dry nutrients. We need to add water to these bowls and shake well until all the solids are dissolved. Then we can use the dissolved solution. Then the adapter that works in US and Canada. Finally, the bowl. It's very interesting. Look at this transparent bowl. From the design point of view, this is really amazing. I really, really, really love it. But practically, I don't know yet. Let's see. Then here is a light panel. Designed very well. Definitely a lot different from any hydroponic system I ever saw so far. And as you already saw, the light is detachable from the bowl. So this bowl is so clean. There is nothing inside except the pump. So we can detach the light and clean the bowl very, very easily. And the pump is connected through two screws. So we can remove the screws and take out the pump and clean the bowl very, very, very easily. I really like the clean bowls because cleaning is very important thing for me. I don't want anything in the bowl, no cuttings or anything. So I can easily take out the stuff and clean it thoroughly 
with my hands, with brush or with scrubber. So I can use anything to clean these kind of clean bowls and put them back. Uh, let me show you an interesting feature which is how low and how high we can adjust the lines. The lowest we can go is literally a quarter inch and from here we can extend it up to 14 inches. This is really nice. Not a huge thing but 14 inches is really good. We can grow a lot of things under 14 inches. In case you are curious, let me also show you the dimensions of the bowl. It is 15 and a half inches wide and 7 inches long. This grow deck is also looking very interesting. It has a very interesting design and very clean implementation. Of course there are many holes. These holes are used to stick the plant tanks or the support sticks. I'm not a big fan of these holes but sometimes we need support sticks so they may be useful for some cases. Now let's place the plant basket. So it is a little bit wiggly and it rotates. There is no way we can lock it but it doesn't look terribly bad. I don't like the loose pot baskets in other a hope garden system and many other hydroponic systems but this is definitely looking a little bit better and the cables are also very clean the pump goes straight onto the light stand behind the bowl and there is a port to connect the adapter so no junk anywhere it is very well designed, very clean, very clean bowl and very nice shape. So overall everything looks good and it has the bowl capacity of 4 liters. So everything is very well here. I know I said very well many times because I am really impressed with this design. But I am still skeptical about how this bowl is going to work, how this transparent bowl is going to work. So I really want to put this system for testing and see how exactly this is going to work out. So I'm going to start experimentation with the system right away. First let me put the stickers. For this first experiment I'm growing French breakfast radishes. This is one of my favorite plant varieties and my favorite radish. If everything goes well, I will be able to start harvesting radishes from day 20 and within 25 days these radishes will fully mature. So I am going to use French breakfast radishes as my first experiment. Normally I don't use stickers for the short crops like radishes but to test this system end to end I am going to use stickers as well. Especially since I am worried about the algae development in the bowl because of transparency on the bowl. I'm going to do this experiment thoroughly and see if there is still any chance for algae development. Oh, it's little funny. The stickers seems to be mismatched. I think these stickers are meant for the smaller pods, like the pods that comes with uh, the other A Hope Garden hydroponic system, the 8 pod one. Looks like they sent me the stickers of the smaller pods with the bigger pods. Anyway, I have some uh, bigger stickers. These are some third party stickers. So I'm going to use this. See these stickers are perfect. Alright, I installed the stickers on all pod baskets. Now dropping the sponges. Now I am going to drop two seeds in each pod. 
and I'm going to use all pods. Last one. All right, I placed the seeds in all pods. Finally, placing the domes on all pod baskets. With this, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water, but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. That's it. The garden is ready. It is all set and good to go. Coming to the settings. These settings are pretty similar to other Ahob garden. It comes with uh, four buttons. One is power, one is pump and two grow modes. But one interesting thing they added with these grow modes is how many hours we can turn on the lights. Basically there are two settings. One is 16 hours and one is 22 hours and the same setting available for both grow modes. So this seems very interesting. Normally I don't go more than 16 hours with any of my gardens. But if somebody wants to go for 22 hours light, definitely there is an option. This is how it looks like after turning it on. I see there is a nice water momentum here. The water is moving very nice. So this is definitely getting interested. Now I am curious to see how the root system will develop and how it progresses day by day. Before I wrap up the video, I just wanted to let you know that I have a 24% off discount coupon if you use my referral link and use the code AGEXP. Please take advantage of it if you are interested in this system. You can find both referral link as well as the coupon code in the description below. Alright, that is all for now. I will keep you posted with all the updates from this experiment. So please subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.